Mr. Rogers was in the Marine Corps. Am I wrong? I, I have he heard that. Korea. Didn't, what did he fight Korea? Did he kill those uh, China? But he wasn't a Chinaman? I don't know. He he worked on like uh, I think he worked in like the television division. He wasn't right? at the Yulu River. Oh, uh, when they came cresting the hill. Actually, you know what? I don't know if he actually uh, did serve. I don't know if he did. I bet he I did. That might always be like an urban legend. I bet he did. I bet he killed man. I I he always did. you always heard the thing of like you know why he has long sleeves because he's tatted up. Yeah, he's got the U.S. Marine Corps tattoo. Yeah, but as a kid, I pictured like biker. Oh, he's got like, skulls too. Full sleeve. That he's got a skull cool. for every man he took. Yeah, no you, skulls. You know, <laughs> <here> too. <laughs> you too know who was you know who was a killer though, Doctor Seuss. They really they called him Doctor Death when he was in the service. Really, they, he killed? killed them all. Oh Wait. yeah, he was a. He's Mr. Rogers didn't really serve in the military. I, I, Mr. Rogers didn't serve in the military. No. Zach has this thing like <laughs> host, Rogers, host of the internationally acclaimed TV show for children, served as a Navy steel, SEAL or a Marine Scout sniper during the Vietnam era. This isn't true. A number no, it's confirmed. right. It says there, we have to state it is false. Mr. Rogers never served in the military. Oh, there That's it is the at the end. Oh, see. not Mr. Rogers. I'm talking about the uh, the guy who paints with the afro. What's his oh, name? I was talking about Mr. Bob, Rogers. You're talking about Bob, Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Yeah. Bob Ross. Yeah, Bob Ross. He was, he was deep cover. One thing a lot of people don't know, you know, like now, uh, there's, there's a little something special in these bushes. You can't see, it, <laughs> but just because you can't, what I learned in in my time is that just because you can't there. see what's in those bushes doesn't mean there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> Stop times. He's painting his friend's head. eyes. Yeah, dude, I thought, he's like he's like putting X's in the eyes. They're like a car backfires and he freaks out in the parking lot. <laughs> Doctor Scholes, you know, with the like this the guy's not painting. Support. He's a real madman. How lucky are we that, Scholes, uh, that we didn't have powder. to go to a guy? Yeah. Dr. Scholl's, he was a killer. How lucky no, are he, we that we didn't have war? Dr. Scholl came over as part of Operation Toothbrush after the war. And he actually he experimented on Jewish children's feet to try and find the perfect arch. And uh, so all that te- all that information was too valuable to the Allies to just toss away. So that was that's that there was a huge research. battle between the U.S. and the Soviets for Dr. The Soviets Scholl's wanted technology. Dr. Scholl really yeah. bad. But we, no, we uh, got they almost got do- they almost got Dr. Pepper, but we got him out as well. So <laughs> there's a lot of coups after the war. We got a lot of good guys. A lot of sinister doctors throughout history. Yeah, Mangala, others. Pepper. Don't even don't even ask me to list more. Uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> it's just Dr. Jekyll. Dr. <laughs> Jekyll. That's a little bit of a double dip. Uh, Dr. Hyde. <laughs> Mr. Hyde uh, do, right? Oh. I guess no, Mr. Hyde wouldn't count. He's the good one. No, Dr. Jekyll is the good one. Mr. Dr. Hyde is the good one. Mr. Hyde. He's the deranged one who does all the killing. Yeah. Dr. Jekyll I've, I've never, the formula. I've never watched Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. There's a bunch of versions. There's never been a good one. Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. That one fucking layup. Swish, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nailed it. From half court. <laughs> Dr. Evil. Dr. Dre. One of the most Dr. evil. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. <laughs> the, uh, he's, no, he's notorious. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. Yes. Medicine yes. Woman. Was Dr. J. What? Was she evil, Dr. J.? Are we going with evil people? I thought we were just naming doctors. What, no, what evil doctors. Playing? All evil. All evil. Yeah, evil oh. doctors. He said there oh. were a lot of do- evil doctors in. Oh. And he skipped Dr. Dr. Evil. Dr. Disrespect. Damn, do you remember uh, that that, uh, uh, oh, that yeah, horrible uh, forum post I read like five you know years ago? You know what a bug ago? chaser is, Vito? Oh, I know the bug chasers. I, I know that story. You're not Dude, a bug chaser, are you? Vile. I'm not bug chasing, though. No, I'm cat chasing. We had a guest who was. He's always chasing pussy. Yeah. But it's cats. But yeah, it if you if cats. you met a beautiful young lady, you're on the dating market these days. If you you're on the old yes, Bumble yes. Or, or, or or Tinder or whatever the the who, and you yes. see this lady who's like, oh my, she's into me, and she's she's a little she's a little above my level. I think I think I've hit a home run here. And, mm. and oh, what what could be wrong with her? She's got this and that. All these things I value. Everything she says is coming out right. What could it be? And then you see like positive. Like 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 undetectable, <laughs> like, 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 right on, and you're like, ooh, yeah, <laughs> and yet I detected good. it right here, and you're, oh dear, <laughs> you know, and yet like, I have detected. <laughs> like, like I, would you be okay? Because the deal is, if they they're on antivirals, I I think, and their their viral load 
is so low that it's, it's low enough, well, then they are now not able to transfer it to you in any way. And, and I think oh, I think a God. man having sex with a woman is very l- unlikely that you get it from her anyway. Even I didn't if you really, weren't on so them. you'd be able to have no condom sex with an HIV positive person. Yes, yes, yes. that's the reality now. Yeah, with one. Uh, so there's a pill now that you can take called. Uh, remember, um, what's his name in the Hangout? It's called Prep. Yeah. And so you, oh, yeah. Switch. You're just like immune to AIDS now. You could you could bug chase all you wanted, and you. Well, be like, that's why they got rid of all the laws, mm-hmm. and people are always chase. mad. They're like, "Can you believe those crazy Californians made it so it's not a felony now to have sex with someone we have HIV without telling them?" It's like, well, yeah, because there's like a zero percent chance of infecting them now. So as mm-hmm. long as they're taking that pill every day, as long as they're taking that pill, yeah. People always take their pills every day. The mistakes don't yeah. happen with it because it, yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think it's, uh, I think it, um, if you were, in, I think it's mostly gay people who who take that pill because uh, I've really? seen billboards for it, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> and, but, I'm glad but, you caught that one. <laughs> but if I were a cop or a wow. health worker, you yeah, know, a cop or a health worker, man, I'm taking my prep mm. every day. <laughs> what are the side effects? I have no idea. Probably like everything else: dizziness, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea, a little Pepto fix. <laughs> dizziness, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea. That is the core four, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're just Everything covering all their bases, that. saying, hey, if you feel bad, it's us. Don't yeah, every once it. in a while, you see the drugs that are like, oh my God. do you have mild stomach sharp pain? Sometimes? I Googled it. Diarrhea, nausea, headache, fatigue, stomach pain. How close was Kyle? Well, it's Crazy. because when they, when they do the study, the way it works is they give people the pills, and you literally have to write down every single negative effect you have, whether or not you can actually attribute it to the pill or not. So it's more like, what are the odds that someone might get a headache while they're on this pill you know mm. so that's pretty much why that stuff's always listed it's like yeah somebody had a pet headache one day somebody had an upset stomach like it's not necessarily that the pill's causing it you don't actually know yeah but sometimes the side effects is like rectal bleeding yeah and when that one shows up you go well that seems like an anomaly like yeah. that's the ones you got to pay attention. Yeah, my, my ass Just is bleeding more than usual Today. <laughs> fingernails, may, fingernails may begin to smell of fish. What? What? What is this drug I'm taking? <laughs> Your eyelids may turn yellow. Nah. Bleeding's <laughs> normal. Wipe it till skin it's may turn Don't inside out. Well, that's a strange one. Have you? Uh, have you heard? You, you said the fish thing, and it made Vitamin me think a of this. Thing. Have you heard of fish syndrome? Fish yes. odor syndrome. Yes, I, I knew a girl who had no. it. No, you didn't. That'd be crazy. I think it's mostly <laughs> in Asia. Well, yeah. what was wrong with her pussy then? Maybe just dirty, yeah. Because yeah, they, there's, I think it was vaginosis, like, but I was hoping you'd laugh. <laughs> <It was> vaginosis, <laughs> 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 but I did call it. What, what is it? Fish, you call it fish oil syndrome? Is that I think it's called? called fish odor syndrome. I don't, it's not a pussy thing. It's like some sort of oh, hormonal. Is. And I'm sure. I'm sure there's crossover, but like, <laughs> it's like there's a genetic thing that some people cannot stop reeking of like rotten fish. Jeez. You look up fish odor syndrome and like they can't fix it. Like so in public, the people will be like, I can't. Yeah, an uncommon condition that causes an unpleasant fishy smell, also called fish odor syndrome. That sucks. What in the fuck? Can you imagine how much that right would suck? That one. Yeah, fish odor right syndrome. Off. You work online. Was- like you can we could all Dude. smell like like shit. That's the person that has is it. That, is that the example? Well, you get brought? off the beach, honey. That's half the problem. <laughs> dude, that's actually it's that's the only low tide. Dude, I see I have, that animal. He's about you. to be attacked by all those seals in the background. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like, it's like fish. honey, oh, I love you, but why does up. every date have to be at the dirty part of the beach? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's like one shit. of the, She's risking her life. Those are predators back there. Man, she <laughs> took that <laughs> selfie and she was like, "Yep, this is the one to send to nightly news." Tonight, the news about fish odor syndrome. I don't know what if she that? can outrun a seal. <laughs> no, She's the a, kind of person that needs to be worried about one. those robot cops at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah, three, three miles that. an hour might be exceptional. She couldn't outrun a big one. No. I think uh, I think that some of those like sea lions and stuff, I get them all mixed up. The, there's, there's all sorts of little mammals that swim around out there, but some of them have like scary teeth. And then those uh, those giant Mars. like um, well, maybe elephant seals. Those things are like a couple thousand pounds. I didn't know they were that big. They tower yeah. over people. That thing, if that thing yeah. landed on you, you would just get mushed into the sand and die. Yeah. When you watch them fight, like it's one of those forced perspective things where because there's nothing but ice and like a sloped gradient of like sand down, you don't realize how big they are hitting. But then when they like actually collide with each other, like you know how you can tell from the physics of something, whether two objects colliding are small with like low mass, like large, like you see them hit and it's like, oh, that's like an entire O-line in one entity. 
That's yeah. more than that probably. Like what is it, like 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 1400 pounds, 1500 pounds of just and it's not even it. fat. It's the kind of like mm-hmm. it's all very productive fat and it's under blubber. it is is corded muscle. Productive like, fat? What lie have you been telling yourself to? <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to survive and brave the. the I'm a powerless. The <laughs> I'm one of the productive. <laughs> <I'm fat>. <laughs> <laughs> Lover, that's fuel for, for the lives. fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fuel for fighting. You see the polar bears? They get like their their claws all the way in to like one of those big giant walruses or seals, yeah. and then you can like see the battle scar. So like that thing's fat is so thick, it's like armor. It's like she you got stabbed big in the water. Like the the largest yeah. animal, I think, is a one elephant, African bull elephant, maybe. Blue They're not even in the top ten of the largest yeah. animals. Land animals are not impressed. Like, I don't think land animals can. Like, they just can't get that big. Like, what's that? The dinosaurs. Well, well, there, there's like some mathematical big. thing where it's like if a oh, person yeah. was multiplied, like if there was a giant who was a hundred feet tall, like. You would just collapse, like your body couldn't support them. Right. There's yeah, like not, there is a size at which we don't land scale. animals are no longer scalable. Yeah. I wonder how that works with dinosaurs. Are they? They're always doing their dinosaur shit, where they're like, "We found the biggest, coolest dinosaur," and then four years later, they're like, <laughs> "It's a small bullshit dinosaur." <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> lied. It's trash. It's like two feet tall. Fuck there you. There was actually a tar pit. There was a lot of dinosaurs combined. Yeah. Guess I what? Mean, the, the movie's already out, was... dumbass. So everybody's gonna buy it. That it was cool <laughs> I mean, and big, and that and that raptors weren't fucking this big. I mean, the brontosaurus Wait, was a real raptors animal. weren't that small. Are they, they were like chickens. The the lies we've been fed about raptors. The lies. Yeah, vel- velociraptors no. in particular, like yeah. that type they're, of they're dinosaur, bullshit. is a small dinosaur. But mm-hmm. there were larger predatory dinosaurs that are more like what you see in the in the movies. Well, yeah, they were about a hundred pounds, the size of a wolf. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know either. It's, I'll it's have to right here on the internet. You can't. Uh, how, when's the last time you were out in the digs, Woody? I was. I, I was out there digs? yesterday. Uh, yeah, we were digging. You weren't we're there. Out here. <laughs> okay, yeah, digging digging okay. through the dicks. I, I got uh, my. Yeah. I got one of those paint brushes. I fucking Ooh. like dust the bones for some reason instead of getting an air hose Ooh. like a man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 fake a dinosaur. Let's Ooh. get a. Let's go get a, a a dig pit, and let's fake one. You know, I'm gonna call horse shit on this because it does have They're the Jurassic fake. Park logo on it. And yeah, they have a dog like in this a, fight. <laughs> I, I did find another website that said they were the size of a turkey, which oh. is not that yeah, useful think, to me. I think they were little, but you know, there were plenty of gigantic dinosaurs. The biggest animal that ever lived was a dinosaur. No, uh, no, it's a blue whale. Yeah, Do you know that. Yep, blue whale, the king, still mm-hmm. around. Yeah, yeah, largest animal. Not in the world ever. of Avatar where the whales were hunted to extinction. <laughs> I don't think that. they; those were like sperm whale size. They, those weren't gigantic. Like, like they were a hundred. Uh, blue whales a hundred fucking feet long somehow. Those you say the Avatar whales whales were not big enough. No, they were like sperm whales. They were like 50, 60 foot long whales. I, I'd have killed them all. I swear to God, we'd have had them in little tanks like Sea World, torturing them all day. Whatever it took I mean, to make the fact more goo. They have immortality goo inside them. I kind of get it. One hundred. Yeah. Why were sperm whales named that? That's a silly name. Like, because the uh, the fluid that comes out looks like ejaculate. The oil. What fluid comes out of sperm whales? That's, that's why they were <laughs> killing them for the whale oil. That is whale. true. Whale. Yeah, whale oil is why you killed all those whales. And I'm sperm good. whales. I don't know if that's why they call them sperm whales, but that is why they were killing the. the that's whales. how we lit our lamps. We just loved lamps in their heads. It's how they use the the the, the yeah, sonar. Yeah, it looks right? like like Kyle's right. The the spermaceti, which is a disgusting kind of pasta, is <laughs> in its head. I always yeah. hated when my mom served me sperm sketty. <laughs> sperm sketty. <laughs> God damn yeah, it, mom! Every scary. Wednesday. Oh, yeah. oh. that's what my stepdad served me. I don't think <laughs> he liked us. Eat your sperm sketty or kill yourself. Right. <laughs> Eat your sperm sketty. It'll make you an alpha. Yeah. So uh, before the uh, like um, after the industrial revolution, but before mm. we had the whole oil rush thing, we were yeah. running the world on whale oil. It was burning in lamps. It was greasing gears. Um, and there's different consistencies of it. There were it, it filled the role of like waxy greases mm-hmm. and also thin burnable oils, just like petroleum does really? uh, today. Yeah. How hard is it to get oil? Oil. It would seem more accessible than sperm whale oil. It's not as much fun. Not and not in the 1700s. The real oil doesn't fight back. 
Do you want to <laughs> dig a hole or do you want to kill a whale? Come on. Yeah. Uh, you you kill a whale. Be more me over. And Should sperm whales. Uh, yes, we will. Sperm whales are the ones with teeth. Like if you see, yeah, the, they fight. Like they, the, they're the, the ones. Scary clips. Like the ones that the, the whales that actually attacked ships were sperm whales. They they're the ones with that. Like if you mm. look at their mouth, they have that socket, and like every tooth fits into like a socket as it closes, like big giant teeth. And so that's like what some people think a lot of sea monster tales were is like sperm or whales fucking up ships. Orcas are sinking ships all the time now. Yeah, there's little yachts. Really? Yeah. Where are they doing? Is it the Strait of Gibraltar? Is that where? Or do I have my stories mixed up? Uh, I, I know that there's that. one pod in particular that's that's got this one matriarch who they believe like was hit by a boat and now she's holding a grudge. So she's taught all of all of her clan to do this um, to attack the yachts. And so they knock they knock off the rudders. They've sunk ships and the people have gone in the water and they don't hurt the people, but they sink the boats. <laughs> and these aren't like commercial fishing boats or anything. They're sinking pleasure yachts that are expensive. That's yeah, awesome. off the coast of Portugal and Spain. That's the Strait of Gibraltar, right? Your geography is better than mine, dude. I was there a couple of years ago, and I still don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm, I think I'm on target with this. Okay. Anyway, it's really small. You can easily see from one side to the other. Oh, Zach says I'm right. So, yeah, uh, nice. uh, yeah. Anyway, they get them. They get them in the bottleneck and attack them there. That is cool. I like it, Taylor. Will you please you do our ass, and I'm going to see what my dog is wailing about. So those people obviously went down uh, exploring for the Titanic this week and yep. died. <clears throat> and what I was most surprised by, like the internet's always a dark place. There's always going to be like some people who who make some uh, mean jokes about it. But everybody seems to think it's real funny that some billionaires like died this week. And it's like, ha the billionaires suffered and died. Why didn't you Every... pull yourself up out of the water with your bootstraps? Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. Like, like, why do people actually hate billionaires? Like, like I, maybe there's yeah. one billionaire in particular you don't like. Like, oh, I don't like Elon Musk. I don't like what he does, or I don't like fucking Donald Trump. Whatever. But Mr. anyone with money, we, we we hate. Mr. Beast could like cure cancer, but if he had a hot dog earlier, someone would point out he has mustard on his shirt and he's a piece of shit. Probably. Yeah, they, like, <laughs> he get <laughs> I don't, he gets so I don't much hate. It. They're like, Mr. Beast is a bastard. Look yeah. at him sadistically curing deafness in children <laughs> for views. It's it's, it's like, all yeah, ego. He is, it's it all is ego. for views. You're brilliant. You mean mm -hmm. he is making YouTube content to reach the widest audience possible? <laughs> You really cracked the case here. What a piece yes. of shit. What a scumbag. Like, it's all it's all ego that like it's it's if you're doing too well or if you're doing really bad, people will either kick you. People will kick you on both ends of the spectrum, you know? Yeah. Um I, I try to just stay in the middle. So this is why I'll never be a billionaire. Yeah, the I, reason I just, that like people that's are making, why I've that, avoided that trap as well. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, that, that, that's like when people are like, I don't want I'll go to the gym, but I don't want to get too big. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll work hard, but I don't want to be a billionaire. Like, I don't want to be too good looking or too rich. People will hate on me. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up one morning and these abs are gonna be offensively large. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be out of nowhere. And I'm gonna have to eat pizzas to correct it. I saw um the bathroom in the submarine was two bottles and that's some generous. Ziploc bags. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, by that logic, oh. I have a bathroom right under my utensil <laughs> floor yeah. in my kitchen. There's bags and all sorts of things. I have a bathroom floor. right next to me, if that's the case, yeah. I saw that uh, the American subs only go 1,500 feet down. It was like 1,550. And that surprised me, because this thing was like 12,000 feet down. Does that sound right? Yeah. Damn, yeah. it's really deep. Yeah. Did you yeah. see uh, the... There's only... Like, like all window. subs only go like that, that, that comparatively short distance down. The the only other vessel that can go down that deep apparently is owned by Gabe, like Newell, who who invented steam. Uh, oh, he has wow. like okay. it's it's got a cool name he, also, and it's yeah. it's like the deep Wait. sea explorer, and he has the world record for for deepest descends in all five oceans. Yeah, it's oh, called like the God. Triton or something. I was I mean, so you see lost. A, owned yeah. by Gabe, and then you said his last name, which I didn't Newell? gather, and then you said he invented steam. Yeah, I'm like. Wasn't that invented like a really long time oh, ago? You mean Archimedes? <laughs> no, he was the first to harness it. <laughs> I'm like, how, it. how does a man invent steam? He, you know what's he, fun? Like the Gabe Newell yeah. like sub. I saw exactly what you're talking about, Kyle. Yeah. And when you see a picture of Gabe Newell's sub, Triton or whatever it's called, it you can tell it's a real submarine. Like it's like, oh, that's no, none of that was from Home Depot. 
that was from like <laughs> we make subs.org like the yeah. all the pieces were special ordered like you can see the picture here yeah oh like, wow looks real and secure <clears throat> there's a million cameras and and things when i saw i watched a 20 minute video of of course, on YouTube, there's everything. There's a guy with like 150,000 subs who's like, I'm the sub man. <laughs> he's a, and he's a, he's a sub expert. And I watched a 20 minute video of him from like three days ago. And literally, he was like, these people are dead. Like, there is a lot of discussion about air being left and how that would work. But they are dead. Like the window was rated for 1500 meters and they are 12,000 feet down. They were crushed instantly. The idea they're rationing air is silly. Like, mm, like okay. it's they like, and at the end of that video, I was kind of like, yeah, well, this guy, he, he is the submarine man. And it does make sense that like, what was it just hanging out down there? Thousands of feet. Sounds past like he was right for? about everything. Yeah. It seems, you know, like, they found the wreckage, right? Like you're up yeah. to speed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they sure it's the wreckage? The other pieces of it, like it's a, like the the standing gear and stuff. Yeah, I, apparently I, it, it imploded, and mm -hmm. uh, the people died instantly. The they're just done. Then they said they died instantly. I, yeah, they would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we're, it's we're it's that. sad to see all the uh, the backlash because it's like would for one, it takes a certain amount of bravery to do that. I yeah. think like I wouldn't fucking do it. You know? No, yeah. not that. So I don't know. It's just armchair people like Twitter's just fucking cancer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, it's, I, it's so analogous to the action. And I mean, this is not a novel take. I've seen so many people talking about it. Like it's so similar to the Titanic itself. Like the, the guy in charge of it was told like, this is not safe. Like this is going to kill you. And they, mm. they fired that guy and settled outside of court. And like he he knew like apparently the first test they did they just lost communication at like 3000 feet or whatever 3000 meters whatever it was like that's like and then just getting back in and going and doing again like i it i couldn't wrap my mind around the video i watched where he's like and it's a bluetooth controller and i'm like i know nothing about <laughs> subs but this is a bad idea sir and he, <laughs> the the ceo he was like like we know it's a Logitech dog shit two star on Amazon device. And the guy's <laughs> like, this is something that's made to be beaten around by 16 year olds. And he like lightly throws it to show how durable it is. And he's like, we got multiple <laughs> other, other controllers here just in case. And it's like, Oh, okay. I got mad. That's, that's where you want to have a Bluetooth pairing issue is at the bottom of the sea. Like are, I this, had no uh, problem with the controller. I don't get why people have an issue with it. I have seen Xbox controllers in billion dollar, multi billion dollar pieces of United States military equipment. It's wired. It's what we use. Everything it's, they don't do wireless shit for like submarines. They don't like things. Well, are look, wired. I don't know about if it's wireless. That seems like a an it's oversight. Insane. I'd want to let's plug that bitch in and make sure. Yeah, <laughs> let's, 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 <laughs> come on. But 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 all the same batteries. <laughs> oh my god! If you bring, <laughs> batteries low, we'll be fine. <laughs> we're gonna be down there for two hours. Don't worry, it's it's, it's on red, but we're fine. I'll lick them. <laughs> Does anybody have a Walkman? Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> but I could borrow your jersey. I need though. eighteen AAA batteries. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, so the official statement, like, geez. did they did they at a certain point did they know they were dying, or did they just fucking implode randomly? Implode, implode, you're just dead, Mike. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing here, but that's how they make movies. That on its way down, it was just sinking, sinking. They all knew they were in trouble, and then mm. implode dead. Yeah. Okay. so that's it's not that bad. like so. like if it implodes, and it's carbon fiber. Like they said, that makes it just absolutely instant because it shatters, mm. and so well, it's I, like I, just powderized. Well, if the window broke, it just immediately threw them under. If I want twelve thousand feet, it's probably six thousand psi. So. I mean that an oxygen cylinder person. that we play paintball with, like the scary carbon fiber wrap ones, are three thousand psi. They're like double that at yeah. that depth. And so, so they just—I don't know what happens to a human body, but we have seen um, that. I think there's a video. There's definitely images of those. There's two or three of those submersion divers, um, the the ones who do like uh, they they live at that deep depth depth where they're doing the welding and stuff, and someone operated the um the airlock improperly like like they, they might they would have had to have ignored like two or three warnings but they opened the pressure seal and everybody was pressured to i don't know a couple thousand psi and just they just explode 
They just mm. like apparently what happens like this far down chunks. I I was reading and who knows if this is true or not, but because I'd never considered it. Apparently, like it's so much psi that it like compresses the air so violently Ooh. that it like is an explosion down there, and so like your Damn. body would just be gooified, like just your it, it's just like an explosion. You're just not. I bet, I, think of all it's, the little critters on the bottom of the ocean eating them. Probably, it's yeah. still There's better than like ninety five percent of the deaths that people get. Like. Yeah. I think dying in general sucks. Yeah. These guys got an instant one like that. And it's uh, cool. I mean, they did something like very brave. It cool. is cool, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. that people are overlooking that. Uh, people are just shitty. Like, yeah. yeah, you're 100% right about that. I'd rather go to space. Like, why would people want to go down? <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's not my area of interest, but if you're an explorer, it makes 100% sense. People climb Mount Everest. Yeah, yeah, people climb. Why do people and, climb and, mountains? Why do you I, go to the bottom of the... Because they're adventurers. I saw this fucking... Uh, it was really cool. This video of... Uh, it was Everest, and it's this woman kind of freaking out, and some guy's like telling her to, you know, like stop freaking out. But then um, it, they're climbing Everest, and like someone's sliding down because they've like passed out and they're, they're sliding down the mountain. Like um, I saw that video a couple months ago, I think on Twitter, but uh, yeah, so people dead, die climbing. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. There, there, there was one guy up there that uh, I think they just called him like green boots or something because he yeah. froze to death oh. and he's mm-hmm. just, they can't get him off. He's frozen to the mountain. Um, well, I mean, nobody wants him either. Yeah. yeah. He's apparently green there. boots is an important landmark. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Everyone so, like people, dies. people want to challenge themselves. People want to explore. It, it, I mean, if they die, they die. So. That seems like it. I don't buy that you can't get the bodies or clean if you wanted to. Like, I feel like not. people are always like, "Ah, I got other things to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to, to climb Everest." Like, like you don't even have to do it. You just have to show up there with enough money to pay Sherpas to instead of hauling two hundred pounds of gear, take a trash can with you and come back with it full. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, there are people who do that for a living and or burn that shit. Don't Why are they very much? It? Take take twenty gallons of fuel up there, pile that shit up, and melt it. I think I don't think there's going to be an environmental impact. Let's just melt it down right up there. Uh, go up I, next, I just it's close to the your Mount Everest. It's going to make stars time. instantly. That all right? Why? That's a solid point. Why do we want the bodies removed? Like I, it's kind of a good reminder. Of I was thinking doing, more right? garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's a good re- just yeah. skulls everywhere as you yeah. get up there. It makes Everest. it not even skulls, just like frozen, dead-eyed, glassy faces. Just. Mm-hmm. Like some guy, like in mid screen. Oh yeah, I guess there wouldn't be like, skulls. I, I just passed all... the screaming child. We're almost to the top. <laughs> I wonder what their bodies look like up there. I bet they're pretty. I, well they're preserved. very preserved. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think. I think. Yeah. yeah, there wouldn't even be skulls. I don't think. Well, It'd freezer burn, but yeah. yeah, they get that thing where it's like the skin's still there, but it's like mm-hmm. like the it's lips like, are like black and like burned and like freezer burned. It yeah. probably looked like wax, I would imagine, but I've never seen a frozen dead body, so. Yeah, I've only seen frozen dead bodies. I went on a big like looking at one right now. YouTube rabbit hole where I just was like reading lists and like reading everyone who's died on Everest mm-hmm. and like the pictures of them. And then some of them are like, that's Orange Belt. <laughs> we don't know who Orange Belt is, and <laughs> no one's ever turned him over. So, <laughs> so we're never gonna mm-hmm. know who Orange Belt is. These bodies are not as attractive as I expected. No, no not I'm sexy at all, huh? Dead. Well, I mean, I'd do them, but it's hard. Gross. <laughs> It'd be tough. Freezing. <laughs> It'd be one of my tougher, t- tougher <laughs> <laughs> uh, Like, I, but, dude, that that sub. I've been thinking so much about that sub thing of like, I, I know me that I wouldn't have got on that craft to go no way. fifty no way. feet down. Like, I. And like, I'm not saying that I'm t- I'm terrified of like the idea of it. If it was Gabe Newell's one, and I saw that. I'd be like, I, I'm comfortable with this. Oh, there's a there's YouTube videos I can find of this thing doing what we're about to do successfully. Like, okay, let's do that. This That's other thing, tra- yeah, yeah. Like, I'd go down a little bit and look. I don't so want to go all the way down. What if this guy had a YouTube speed. video? Like, like he probably did, right? But this wasn't the maiden voyage. Voyage was it? It. They had never had a successful voyage this far. I like, thought they'd been going up and down for for years. Not that Some guy on Reddit said he had done it a few times and they lost communication every time he did it. But I mean, it's the guy on Reddit. I don't know. Yeah, it's also the guy, the guy on Reddit. They don't yeah. know. It's the yeah. guy who found the Boston bomber. Well, I would much rather go to like space than, than I, all the quarter million dollars that go down the Titanic is a lot different than 
What was it to, to fly up on the, the Soyuz back in the day? The Russians were charging twenty million, I think. 20, Ooh, 10, 20 million, something like that. Yeah, to go up in uh, there's, the international there's space. To station. See in space, like at least going yeah. down in the ocean, you're gonna see like all the cool, or hopefully you'll see cool deep fish and stuff you don't see otherwise. I'm on the other uh, team, Taylor. I think in the ocean, your visibility is like six feet, even with good light. I was just saying, I think, I think space that? has aliens too, man. Like and aliens in space, your there. visibility is like yeah. a million miles. But yeah. what else can you look at up there? Aliens. The Earth. You know, look at the other stars, planets, moon, stars. the Earth, and then you go, man, <laughs> that's nice. What else we got up here? And you're like, shit. Three minutes in, and he's asking what else we have. You know, <laughs> I saw this from my parents. You already clogged the shitter. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the photoshopped pictures NASA posts on Twitter are way better. This looks mm. like shit. Like getting mad that it's, yeah. it's not as good as the Photoshop. That, the, the you brought your binoculars, Woody. Now you can see yeah. 35 times larger than before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's only a trillion miles away. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you stare into the blackness of space. Wow. Neat. I read about chimps and gorillas fighting in the wild. The chimps won. Yeah, they, that uh, numbers make sense. Yeah. Oh, you knew this. I forgot Taylor's a subject matter expert on primates, but he's but the chimp man. Somewhat. He's the chimp man. <laughs> Tell me the book. Yeah. They, they, they would just like 12 before. Yeah. Uh, would you call him a proctologist? A primatologist. A primatologist. I like <laughs> well, I'm man. both. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they'd like 12 before these like, and like big silverback gorillas just like throwing yeah. chimps out of the way, mm -hmm. but they just number them and. Yeah, uh, they were at war they for a long put, time. Like, a yeah. Shredder style claw on the gorilla so that he can slash. Like if he had a weapon. Like Freddy Cougar. That that is such a cool idea. I love it. I <laughs> I was just picturing that. I think the gorilla really has actually I don't know. Because if it's like twelve V three or whatever you said. Armor. Like, armor. Like, right? We're gonna chimps we're gonna are armor so, up. are so effective at like going for breaking fingers blinding you like like guaranteed within a couple seconds of those chimps like getting on the gorilla the gorilla was blind it was having its like face ripped off now the gorillas like, were getting some kills like it i'm sure they get start 12 before and it would end like 4 v none it's like you know, that like, hyena wow. versus it's like hyenas I, how and lions or whatever yeah <laughs> it wasn't a video it was an article and and it oh. happened like over the course of years like it wasn't a one-time conflict it was a war it was like yeah a yeah you really know cool. about this too yeah there was an ongoing war between chimps and gorillas that's damn i know chimps are smarter but gorillas are not stupid in like chimps the world are of smarter animals. than gorillas yeah Mm -hmm. i think chimps are the smartest animal like i that they're smarter than dolphins they're smarter than everything but us Mm -hmm. I believe so. Like they, we talked about their like short term memory shit. It's yeah. better than like any person's. Yeah, they do that like twist it, bop it, squeeze it game, and they're so goddamn. <laughs> they're I can do like six levels in. They're oh, going man. twelve oh, deep. The, like, the <laughs> internet has chimps at third. I'm gonna make a sub that you control third? the bop it. Yeah. <laughs> bop it. <laughs> twist it. <laughs> Sink it. No. Sink it. <laughs> <laughs> bop it. Twist it. Pull it. <laughs> Everybody's just freaking out. <laughs> bop it is a summary control is my favorite joke Doctor. of the day. <laughs> Captain, you're sinking here. too quickly. Pop it. Pull it. <laughs> Says the 19 year old passenger on the submersible um, didn't want to go and was oh. terrified, but agreed to do it for his dad on Father's Day. No, oh. dude, that Ooh. is that is sincerely heartbreaking. That's that's shitty. Yeah, that's yeah. horrible. Well, yeah. What mm. about that one guy though, whose stepdad was down there, and he was like at Blink One Eighty Two, just like, "Hey, I'm all about the Blink. That's all I know." <laughs> like he, what? He, they were like, "Dude, your father's at the bottom of the Atlantic. Why aren't you there?" <sighs> you know, Blink One Eighty Two has been there for me throughout my life through some hard times. I think the best place for me right now is with the Blink. <laughs> and it's a picture of him giving the most awkward smile at the concert. <laughs> 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 oh, it's great. He's just a chubby white guy. It's like one of those full body awkward pictures you, that you took in high school. It's it's great. But yeah, dad's at the at stepdad, I guess, at the bottom of the Atlantic well, in his Why was there ever like why did everybody agree to pretend these people have been alive this long? Like I thought these that people are, have obviously alive. been dead for days. Uh, Taylor, I wasn't pretending. I I, I, I heard that the they, tapping stories and believed yeah. it and I I definitely that was the kid, yeah. The tapping thing like 
I, I don't get it. But like, turns out it was never true. There's probably some dolphin clicking. Moment. Yeah, it's probably some something happening in the sea. Sound carries so far in, in water and all that. Like, who you know knows? How they detected it? it but like the fact the that like I, all all I had to do is watch that one video of the dude talking about it, where he's like, "So the window is rated for fifteen hundred meters," and it's like, and they were at ten thousand. It's like, oh, they're dead. Like they yeah. they're so far past dead. See, they were, but, but you're assuming already. that that was the problem when it's been down there many times before and that window that held far. up. Yeah, it's yeah, they've made the trip before with that window and it's been fine. The the prop, it could have easily been like their Bluetooth quit working and we're out of contact and they they can't like pop their ballast and, and surface, or that they got caught in an under their, their fans turned off and the current pulled them down and now they're at the surface three miles away. In their watercolor no, boat. The thing is, they <laughs> locked he in was, there. He was lying about having done that, like all the way down by the Titanic before. They had never done that. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. This is this is news. Uh, I'm back on all the dating apps now. I am officially divorced. So there That's you true go. News. That's true news. Yeah. Well. Welcome to the dating world. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, <clears throat> happened like seven months ago or so now. Uh, basically, she cheated on me and then confessed it to me. So I told her I didn't want her in my house and kicked her out. And then I immediately filed for divorce. And so it was quite the process. Wow. Yeah. How'd that work financially? Well, it's so as, short. You would, as you would guess, uh, it was a rinky dink Mickey Mouse divorce. Like, considering, like, you're only married for like a bit over a year, didn't have kids, like, none of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it was, as far as divorces go, pretty easy, you know, mm -hmm. to get through. But, and even though, like, there was nothing my ex said throughout the process or that my attorney told me throughout the process that made me think it was going to be some, like, Oh, like financially ruinous thing. Cause like, like logically I knew that, but like, damn, the amount of time, like over that period, I just spent like in my own head, like just these financial worries that like I'd in my own head be like, stop like being so worried. Your whole life's going to come crumbling down. It's not, you're fine. And then it'd be like, you can't, you can't stop thinking about that. Well, what if this happens? What if this is my financial future? What if this and that? And that is, uh, enormously stressful. So that was not fun. Uh, being single again uh, is is awesome. It's <laughs> it's genuinely. I I'm really enjoying life more Lord now Satan than I comes was through again. <laughs> I I cannot believe that I'm you know, such a fucking idiot that I when I call had down to, to the through. dark man <laughs> and I ask. You know how many cats I've had to fucking kill over the last year and a half. Oh, oh my god, dude! I, I there's so much cat blood on my hands. Oh. Satan was thirsting, but he sent that demon. Oh. I, I was hoping the rest of his sentence was, "I cannot believe the wisdom Kyle had all along." <laughs> that's, that's literally I needed. You know, I'm such a midwit retard. I had to get divorced to realize that. That Kyle and Dick, my high IQ friends, they were trying to guide me down that road. Mm. They tried to guide me down that road, and in my arrogance, in my, in my pride, I, I ignored them. I didn't take their advice. So, this is a true prodigal son story. Really, <laughs> is that I'm back. Uh, <laughs> this I'm is like back. Iron Man One. This is Iron Man One. I'm back. <laughs> You're coming out of that Afghani cave. <laughs> I'm coming out of the Afghani cave. I'm back in the mix. You know what? The the thumbnail should be me after crawling through like Andy Dufresne. And I'm back. I'm out. Mm -hmm. out. Taylor looking up at that lightning filled yeah. sky. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I can't stop putting together Taylor's like body transformation and you know, dating app uh, reappearance. Like I've I think these are related. <laughs> it's it's absolutely related. Yeah. One hundred percent. So um yeah, this we separated in like mid October. Uh to give people the time frame. Like it's been quite a while since we separated. We've been actually officially divorced for a few months now. So like I've been 
been dating again and whatnot. Uh, I need to get Hinge and Bumble. I only have Tinder, but uh, yeah, I've never actually used a Bumble account. I need to Bumble's check that great. out. Bumble it sounds my, like uh, Bumble's too much of a commitment. Are you sure you want to see a woman Hinge. twice? Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see where we're at. But um, yeah, I like yeah. Hinge a lot. Uh, or excuse me, I like Bumble a lot. And Hinge, like I said, was I think I met two girls on Hinge ever. But um, mm. you know, I, I, I like those those girls in particular. I guess um, Tinder. You meet some crazies on there too. Do you still you talk know? to them, the Hinge girls? Um, I Not so much. I have never like told a girl I don't want to talk to her anymore if uh, if you end up in a relationship where it's not appropriate to talk to me then I'll just notice that you haven't messaged me in three years and respect that you know what I mean mm. but I don't have any reason to be like never contact me again like why would I do that so that's I've really always happened. liked your attitude towards this and and it's a little bit like like hey I do the groundwork and we get to know each other and we find out that we're a match and girls worry oh now he's not going to want to talk to me after tonight. No, no, that was great. I absolutely want to talk to you. Not, not necessarily move in, not necessarily talk to you all the mm -hmm. time, but what we did tonight, I would love to run this back in four days. And I was like, yeah, that's genius. Why do you want to start from scratch with the next one? I, I've never quite understood that. Um, uh, like, like I've always been of the mind and I've always been real open about it. Like, Hey, I like, I, they'd be like, oh, you're not going to call me back. Are you? I'm like, well, no, I'm not. I'm 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 35, not 65. I'm not gonna call anybody, <laughs> but I'm going to text you like, like a call. the next time I'm horny. Um, you know, like like like, like and I'm gonna be like Which polite is about in between. Four hours from now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which is, you know, probably you know a you week ago or a week car. later or whatever. Like, <laughs> but but no, I've just never understood why you'd want to like fuck a girl and then like block her or something like that. Like she would have to be so shitty, um, like like such a sketchy person yeah. that you didn't that you were like worried about your safety or like she was gonna like do she's on she's doing drugs Burn or like, she's down. an alcohol she's like like crazy shit like an actual yeah. unstable dangerous person that you don't feel safe around before i'm going to like block you but if it's just a sweet girl that we had sex like like i don't i've never understood blocking uh, and like like i thought it was just in the movies but then i hear about people doing it i hear i see women online on reddit being like yeah we had sex and thought everything went well and then it blocked on all like all social media and this, that, and the other. And I'm thinking like, what, what, what kind of style is this? You only want to, have, <laughs> you only want to fuck her once? I've, what I've is never the, done that. What's a typical gap between like the pictures in a Tinder profile and the real life? Is It, it can be enormous. Oh. Uh, it, it, there can be a drastic difference between the way someone is presented. And sometimes like it can be like, oh, that's you 40 pounds ago. Like... Well, there, I, there is stuff like some, that. I get current like live photos usually, like like, and you know, you don't we know like, if they're live on. Oh, you, once you're chatting with them, yeah, yeah. We can like if we're on Snapchat, the, and like it doesn't have to be like triple X either. Like like if if she's at the pool or or like or like I'm on the treadmill or something like that. Like just kind of showing that we have torsos is a good idea at some point because mm -hmm. you know it's it's a good idea to know that that exists. Um, I, I I I've told that story a bunch of times about meeting that girl off of my Facebook um, like fan site with and oh my god I so big so big it's twice twice that happened in Those hindsight girls, though <laughs> you would the, the current deep? wiser Kyle not fall for that or was it impossible to yeah. avoid oh I, like what it was was wishful thinking it was like it was me like that'll get my, you. Yeah. my <laughs> brain was filling in gaps and like making excuses for why things look the way they did and like, like like whatever it could do to like make this okay the questioning side of my brain was sh like shoved down in a corner somewhere and told to shut the fuck up god damn it whose team are you on <laughs> <laughs> but when you, and, but you, I you did what that needed window. to be done yeah so, well it's happened twice but one time i looked out the hotel window and like she's there she's at my hotel this is mm -hmm. right. This was when Woody, for time frame, you were leaving Cisco. Like, mm. like I think you had called me that day, and and we were talking about that. Like, you were gonna move. It was like imminent that it was gonna happen for real. And uh, after I got a phone with you, I was like on the phone with her, looking out my window. I'm on third or fourth floor, and I saw. She's like, I'm in the red dress, and I'm like, Holy shit, you like Pac Man? 
like like she <laughs> she was so big and round i see um, a tent but, no. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Did Coleman I, make that dress? <laughs> like there was no way to back out, so I, I I let her go down on me, and then I pretended like I like prematurely ejaculated, but really I was just only wanted a blowjob, and uh, and and I was like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, you know what? This is my I first. Like, I was like. You like pull it out of your mouth and you're like, oh no! And you're like still cranking your dick. <laughs> I'm not stop. What I want to ruin. Oh fuck! Here. Another four minutes of this, <laughs> <laughs> and then you gotta leave. So like, I think I like apologized and maybe said like, well, we'll go to dinner, um, you know, in like three or four hours. Uh, but I'm gonna get a nap, take a shower, etc. I need. To, oh, I got. I always make up work that I have to do, you know, because women mm. believe that. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I got all that work. <laughs> Meanwhile, like I'm, a, I, I was there to, I might have been there to buy that boat. I was there for fun, um, yeah. and uh, and as soon as she left, I went to blocking her everywhere, man. I'll admit, mm. like like that, because, and then she messaged me back on like w- the last remaining way she had, whatever it was. She was like, "What the fuck, you know? Why'd you? What happened?" And I just wrote back, "You know why? You know why?" Mm. And and then I blocked her there too because she was so big, dude. She was so big. And it was just, and then another time I was in Texas. Could and, you go uh, canoeing with her? Do you almost expect like 15 pounds of lie, 10 pounds of lie? No, like, no. no. Well, all right. Okay. Sometimes, a lot of the times, the girl is like clearly like just, she's never going to be fat, right? Like, like, so just, lots mm-hmm. of chicks are just, just because of the heroin. I don't, and again, like, at the, at this point, like, or is and, it and really after these two instances that happened, no. I always make sure that. I, I see what all of you looks like. And again, I'm not talking about triple X, but like I'll see you in a fucking shirt and some jeans at some point, your whole goddamn body. But there was that time in Texas when I was, man, she pulled up in that cube who make, I don't know who makes the cube, but it, it's that maybe Nissan. Oh, ooh, I know yeah, it. Nissan. Is it Honda? Yeah. <clears throat> Nissan. I, it, it's the, it's an, it, she pulled up in a cube and uh, I had been talking big shit, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, let's go to Morton's. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna go here and do this and that, and then we'll go back to the bar at my hotel, and then we go up. Like, I got this kind of room and that kind of room. I'm talking all this shit, and uh, all right, she pulled up in a normal one, right? It was like gray, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she pulled up in one of these, and I don't give a shit. It's a chick's car. It, yeah. it, but I sat down in that bitch, and she had it in drive so fast, and had and was away with me that by the time I was buckled up. And noticed how big she was. We were gone, and mm-hmm. I mean, she was. She that was, was tactical on her part. She, she was too big, and I, in my head, I, I'm thinking about how much money I've promised to spend tonight on this big bitch, and I'm thinking like, no, I can't even afford to take her to Morton's. She's gonna <laughs> eat a whole goddamn. <laughs> she's gonna get, get that whole seafood tower herself or something. Hundred eighty dollars worth of chilled crab. No, so I'm 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 sweating. Trying to figure out how to get out of this, my heart's mm-hmm. beating. Are you sweating, or you're just catching some in the air? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I mean, it just shouldn't it's just, go just past. She's that. way too big. And uh, and I call my buddy, and I'm I, oh, I text him like, get me out of this. Call me, call me. Calls me up, and I'm and <laughs> I'm doing a whole fakery on my end that doesn't even involve him. I just needed the phone to to ring. Sure. So he's going, got you a big one, huh? I'm like, fuck. And I'm over here like, oh, all the footage got deleted? No. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, how would we film tonight? It's nighttime. <laughs> okay. Oh, they've got stadium lights and a generator. Whose fault is this? They're fired. <laughs> <sighs> but, but. I'm on this date with this lovely lady here. Can I bring her with me? Is there a pen she could play in? (laughs) (laughs) I go through all of this fakery on my end, and then I go click, and I'm like, you know, I kind of believe it. (laughs) And I tell a bunch of lies about how I've just got to get back to work. Got all this work to do. (laughs) And I just have her turn around and take me back. And then I had sex with a prostitute instead who was uh, nice. She was not fat. Much thinner, but but that was the one who was on her period, though it turned out, and bled mm. all over me in the in the room. Yeah, so it was oh, quite think a of night. All the content you got from that night. What an Taylor, awful. Did evening. you have any clue that she was being unfaithful? Did did you said she confessed it? Is that when you first learned, or? Yeah, it was like the night before. 
like she was out somewhere and I wasn't there and she came back the next morning and confessed it to me. So and, yeah, you were surprised by the confession or, uh, I mean, I'll just, I'll leave it at this. Like mm. she and I were not happy in that marriage. Um, and so it is, I believe a hundred percent for the best that uh, it okay. is over. Um, the dogs, huh? They are her dogs. Yeah, yeah. that that oh. was a discussion. That was a discussion early on because Teddy was literally a gift for her. Like that makes sense. It's cut and dry. And yeah, then Fozzie like a was, bonded pair. Yeah, they're a bonded pair. And Fozzie was literally <clears throat> bought by her mom because she yeah. was going to get a dog at the same time we got Teddy. And then we ended up keeping both because Teddy was so fucking neurotic that he couldn't like handle reality without having another dog there. Am I an organ donor? Yeah. I don't actually remember. I, I, don't, I don't know if they do. Do they put that on your ID? Yeah, it's on your yeah, license. Yeah, it's on my license. It should, there should be a little heart on yeah, it or it, something. I think I yeah. said no because I'm worried they're going to get too like aggressive about it. That know? is my They're fear. going to get like, 100% aggressive about it, just so you know. They yeah, want you're going to be in the hospital. They're going to go, oh, there's an organ donor? Cut them off. Hey, do we if want it, that heart? Nah. They're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's like if, if there's some like father who needs a pair of lungs to like see his kids graduate high school or something like i'm really for that but organ donors don't just do that i, I don't want to be on a table at some medical school getting dissected for some yeah exactly I, I don't want to be like a weird experiment or kind of like casually tossed aside unimportant. i could be yeah, i don't want a bunch this. hang on I, I could be wrong about this but i think that, i think there's a difference i think if you want your body donated to medical science where they go and throw you in the in, Mm -hmm. Actually, there was never mind because I just that woman there was got that story up. about that old man that donated his fucking organs and they used him for cr as a crash test dummy. <laughs> they <laughs> they That's him into a Jesus car Christ. and yeah. ran it into a wall to see what would happen. Did, I did don't you wanna... see the one about the woman, the the guy, his mother donated her body to sciences yeah. years ago, and they used her body to test like blowing up a Humvee with a body in it, and so <laughs> yeah. like they blew <laughs> his mom's ass to smithereens, <laughs> and he was like, she was supposed to like help with cancer or something and, <laughs> and she just confirmed that rockets were <laughs> like, on, on, her, on her deathbed she's going to her at least I know that I'll be able my organs will be able to save another let's blow this bitch up <laughs> Dude, just, I, I'm okay with viscera. it what, what, what do you want to be laid in that coffin so you can like not rot forever I like the idea of being man if I could request to be put in that home being blown up that'd be pretty neat Dude, if i die of a deadly illness i want my body launched into the territory of whoever our country's enemy is i want to like be part catapulted of yep i want to be i want my sick body so if we're in, at war with italy fire my body into rome and i'll help help the we'll flick out. it right into the dmz at north korea and yeah and, yeah it's fire bullshit that you're not allowed body. to sell your like pre-sell your organs though then like you, you can no, China's on the cutting edge of that. You can go you to a different sell? country, but in America, it's like if you knew you were going to die, you can't be like, all right, I'll give my heart to a guy for 12000 It's like, no, you, you just go. That. I don't think you can. Who's going to stop? What are they going to do to you? Like, literally, it has to go yeah, through like kill the, you and steal your heart. It has to go through the process. Like, yes. you have to be on the list or whatever, the donor They're list like, and everything. All right, like, Mr. Vito, I see here that you sold your heart. You're in a lot of trouble, sir. <laughs> a I'm lot saying, of trouble. I don't well, think you're you dead. Can... You're very... Uh, uh, yeah. But people aren't allowed to, like, pay money to skip the line, you know? They can't be like, oh, I'll buy that guy's heart for, like, 100 k And you go, all right, well, you yeah. know, I'm going to... I can't imagine that week. happening. That always right, I'm happens. with Taylor on that. I don't buy into too many... I just... Okay, how are all these rich and famous people getting that weight loss drug? Oh, Zempec. Oh, I bought I'm it close. from a. I bought it from China. What are you talking about? You're on it. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, what is it? Getting a drug's different. I, I, I think. I, I think though, if all right, if I'm gonna die tomorrow, let's say I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna head into the garage and get sleepy tomorrow. Mm. I could decide. <laughs> I could say, Woody, you get my heart. And I could leave it you in my want world. Anymore. You, Can't you hang yourself? I'll have yeah, I'll, I'll hang myself. Be a and bro. Come on. I, I don't want I, your I carbon like, Woody, dioxide. Woody, I'm going to kill myself tomorrow. <clears throat> Give me a hundred. I know you need a new heart. Give me a hundred thousand dollars <throat> in cash. And I'm going to hand that off to my, uh, my baby mama that you don't know about. And, mm -hmm. and, and, Which one? and then I off and then, you know, transaction done, right? I donate the heart to you. You get your heart. She gets uh, hush, some hush money. That's all good. She take care of that little bastard that she was supposed to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, fucking liar. I don't know exactly how. <laughs> Vito, you're on that weight loss drug. What yeah. is it? How do you pronounce it? Uh, semaglutide. 
Oh, okay. That's that's the uh, there's the the what do you call it? Brand name too. The brand Ozempic. name is Ozempic. Uh-huh. And then there's another brand, uh, Wagovi. How long have you been on it? Uh, about a month so far. Is it a weekly injection? Yeah, yeah. Weekly, you inject it. Uh, and I inject it into my tummy. How? Oh, you do it solo. You don't like go to get it injected. No, because I bought it from some weird website and I had to mix it myself and I'm worried I did it wrong. Oh, but. you got the powder and you had to put it with the water? I got, the water. yeah, I had, a, they send you these little vials of powder and then you have to add the, you know, whatever, the pure water so to it. scary. And mix it together. <laughs> and like, hope, oh, my drug. And hope well, that I'm it's sure not you got it right the poison. first time ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you did read all the internet how to do it. medical science are pretty easy to <laughs> High risk, high reward. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pharmacists so, don't know shit. I can do this. I, I've seen um, memes about a Zempic being like, People claiming like miracle weight loss drug or that's dude. Look like, at the, the marketing. The, apparently, everybody in Hollywood's on it. I mean, have you seen yeah. like like Mindy Kaling looks like now? Have you seen a oh if Mindy Kaling thin? Then then, then dude, it works. Mindy Kaling thin looks crazy. <laughs> it works. Well, there's a huge audience that cares about Fish Tank Live, the the show which wrapped up <laughs> oh, yes. and Neptune show. show. Yeah, you gotta if you haven't seen highlights of that, I strongly recommend people check out the finale of it. It is very very funny. So. So two thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, you show me some clips from that. So that's uh that's Sam Hyde's like crazy um big brother style mm -hmm. uh online show he did. And they get to the end of this thing where he's been torturing these people psychologically and physically for a couple weeks, and then he it's kind of he, he he tells them, Hey, you you're not getting any money. Look at this contract you signed, idiot. And it kind of breaks everyone's spirit, and it's uh it's it's pretty wild to watch. Um, yeah, and then there's you know there's a twist after that, so I mm -hmm. highly recommend at least watching the finale. It's pretty fucking good. Yeah, it's super entertaining. It is. Uh, I'm definitely gonna watch season two. Apparently, it did well enough that they're doing a season two in winter. So it, like, it was one of those things that like I would just <clears throat> check it every night for most of the duration of it. Like, oh, what are the fish up to? And like, see what fucking nonsense they were doing. How would you do on that show, Taylor? Uh, probably not well. Like the amount of psychic torture and how filthy the house is. Psychic torture. Like the amount of text to speech <laughs> harassment and and like uh, like, and like Professor Xavier. <laughs> like, like you're trying to I recover know, from a day know. of being tortured, like, and just someone is continuing to play like school shooting and mariachi band sound effects as you're trying to sleep. Like it really is Big Brother mixed with Abu Ghraib or. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tom Bay. Like, I, it's it's hilarious. I saw this really funny Twitter thread that was like someone joking around semi being like, it's funny how many clear lessons they took from the Stanford prison experiment, Abu Ghraib and all these things. <laughs> it's like, you know, they made it uncomfortable. Like the the actual physical setup of it would be awful. It's so fucking disgusting in that house. And anytime they start cleaning it up, Sam comes upstairs and destroys it again and then pays Airsoft Fatty to like shit in all the toilets and not flush. Yeah. And it's just... It, I, 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 I was so much fun. To, dude, I was sitting aside in... Aside from the pooping, which is easily solved, this sounds like a typical Woody motel room. Like, like oh, is there damaged furniture? <laughs> how would I make it through the night? How, it's how filthy. In what way is it filthy? Like there's shit smeared in places. There's piss. Uh, everything's broken. They uh, destroy all the furniture. They punch holes in the walls. They everything is shredded. Like it's not my it, house. It is, it is the, baffling how the badly the house is the only is thing destroyed. I can't just ignore. Like I, I yeah. The poo is a big part of it. It only takes it takes <laughs> it takes such little poo to upset me. Like it, in, a, in a place that I'm living, it takes like borderline zero. And the amount they had was, was zero. zero. And like, <laughs> I, I remember I was watching like I remember watching multiple times, like just sitting there looking at this hell house of horror and just looking around my nice clean home and being like, I am so thankful I am here right now instead of there because it. Like it, I was genuinely impressed by some of the contestants. There's this chick, Letty, uh, who's just like a chick in her like mid 20s who endured so much nonsense from like Frank Hassel, from from the, 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 the sharks, the fish tank operators, and everything. And she just like kept being entertaining and coming back. It was, it would be, <clears throat> I, I, do, I do not have high, no, she got second place. Um, and Sam still gave her 20 grand. Uh, she wasn't supposed to win that much. I think. But. Not yeah, having watched really it cool very product. much, like Sam coming in and like destroying his own kitchen, 
I'm not intimidated. Um, if you want to kick the pads and like push me around the room, I don't care. That um, I would care. That would hurt my feel. Like I, I, <laughs> I, I, I put myself in that position at least ten times. I, uh, not in real life. Like in my thoughts. Like what would I yeah. do if Sam asked me to hold the pads and then just started like dominating? You can hold pads for Sam. You're big enough. That other guy's small and and yeah. frail, and he's never held pads before. We could all do I, it. I don't, I think it takes a real Maybe giant right. man to, to to like overpower us holding like tie uh, like yeah, yeah yeah it, maybe yeah. you're right maybe maybe it, I was picturing myself getting pushed around just like that guy and I'm like I don't think so. do I do I sweep the foot as he goes for a kick like it no no it, you pull the pad out of like, the way let him kick the wall is what you do <laughs> that, I like that, that better man. down uh, but I'm like oh, what's what wrong you, Sam for the record what happened I can't beat up Sam Hyde right so if i get my one lick in do i do i call that a moral victory <laughs> because because you I know it sam follows that wall let sam kick that wall now he's all crippled and i hope he attacks me because hmm. you think 30 grand prize money uh this lawsuit's going to do better than that sam why don't you attack me right here on camera in front of everyone sam why don't you attack me you big goof did you kick the wall sam look at that well <laughs> you, look, you, look at that you goof why don't you hobble on over here and see what yeah kind of he's not you gonna got actually again. fucking attack you it, like you could there were, there were very funny times like where the real like sam like or showrunner came out during the show because he would like that guy who took all the kicks like john the guy with the speech impediment he like encouraged john and letty to like fuck with each other and like create content and harass each other and everything and like would say like everything's allowed you can destroy each other's belongings you're allowed to like go in each other's bags and take stuff and tear their clothes and destroy their stuff and shoot mustard all over their shirt like you can destroy any of their stuff and that was an understood thing and john being that would go well not, I think not, would, yeah would oh, no, it, choke yeah. somebody out so fast dude i'm telling you it's not it's if you haven't watched <laughs> it, like, it would not be easy to be like i don't mind poop they're like we pooped in your bag <laughs> in your bag, and now, and now, and now, Frank Castle is in your room, shirtless, like wearing it, Where, wearing, wearing no, no, poop. No, no, like no. <laughs> Frank Castle's in there, and he's wearing your CPAP. And shit on We've his given own given away forehead. the secret on how to get under my skin. How he's to get over to something. Not What's that up, it's secret, uh, this, this, this girl, Letty, is Canadian, and it's an American show, and so she has a passport there, and this guy john runs in there and steals her passport and is like running around like threatening like i'm gonna rip your passport i'm ripping your fucking passport and like sam comes because it's like he can't have someone on his show having their passport destroyed like on it and trapped in the country and so he barrels up in like real anger mode it's like john do not rip that passport don't rip then he's in john's <laughs> running away from sam in the garage and sam is sprinting <laughs> over piles of garbage to catch him and he grabs oh, the no. passport from him. he's like john fucking idiot and like throws a, a drawer as hard as he can at the wall of the garage angrily throwing garbage around like fuck john you can't rip up people's fucking passports like <laughs> actually getting furious it was there were so many fucking funny i can't tell you said it. actually furious yes the legitimately fear he cannot have one contestant destroying another contestant's passport like i'm still not afraid, them in the country I, but, but i'm, I'm still you not afraid though, though. no you're not afraid not. because you i'm can't. there to i'm there to because of the scenario this exact scenario in particular right because i'm terrified of sam high he's a gigantic <laughs> scary man yeah. he'll kill me you're with not, bare hands. Not to be scary what i'm scared of though what I, the reason i wouldn't be scared in that scenario though i'm here to suffer for a few tens of thousands of dollars so if you give me a scenario right now where that big dude just beats me up and I get call it a hundred thousand, I like that even better. I'd love to go home right now with like a concussion and a hundred thousand dollar check, Sam. So beat me up in front of everyone. You know, like I'm not afraid of that. The problem would be I bet there's not a lot of sleep happening. And yes. and and I need some sleep. Like I need some sleep. And, and and that weighs on you like every day if you're just getting four or five hours or that like sporadic a couple hours throughout the day kind of thing that could have a real mental toll yeah that adds up cumulatively Dude, just sound effects and text to speech all night mm, i forgot you that are, you are so quickly going to be in a bad mood out of like and i maybe i didn't explain it right with like the point is not sam hyde is not scaring people like i'm going to beat you up the it yeah, is, yeah. It's made to be uncomfortable in there. The the whole nature of 
moving their beds all the time, disrupting their sleep, loud noises, uh, controlling the lights, people paying to have the temperature turned down to freezing or as hot as the house goes, like just things like it's made to be uncomfortable. Like there's no <laughs> threat that you're going to be beat up or attacked. And then it just like, like there's a little threat in there. No, no. <laughs> the way he yelled at the guy around the passport and threw oh, things at the yeah. wall. There's, at there's, the wall, not at you him. You can't tell me there's no threat. I would have said. I mean, it's a show. Like, I would have said, am I off the show if I tear it up? What happens if I tear it up? What happens if I burn it right now? What happens? I'd want to know. He has to tell me what the rules Kyle, are. Kyle, you don't understand. You are thinking at a higher level than this gentleman <laughs> who was running around with the passport. Oh, that's fair to say. The group of people that he put in there were specifically chosen to that's try right. and and be combat. Like, if it were, it would be infinitely easier to hang out in the house with you two guys than, like, a bunch of people you don't know, and you have Frank Castle coming in, taking all your stuff and making messes. Uh, you got Airsoft Fatty coming in shit everywhere he's being gross he's spitting on people he, he's uh getting turned down by a prostitute because he's supposed to that if the three of us were on that show and then we were in that environment i think it would be a little like i imagine boot camp i think part of boot camp is to put you in a really suffering difficult environment where you bond with the other guys and like you're like man this fucking sucks doesn't it like this is hard this is, we're gonna have to pull through and uh, pull together and get through this uh, but that, of course, is not what these guys do. Either. Hey, who's that subhuman in the top left corner? That's Airsoft mm. Fatty. Jesus Christ, dude. He that was... Is... That dude is a content factory. Oh, yeah? He he is... I would, like, sometimes check in on the stream. Like, he's enormously fat. And so you assume he would be the most low-energy person of all time. Yeah, they shaved his head into, like, a Friar Talk thing. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> and, like, like I would like pop in <laughs> randomly sometimes be like, oh, it's like 10 a.m. I wonder if any of the fish are awake and everyone's asleep except for that dude who's like always like making himself an enormous meal and like singing so loudly that it's funny because you can like go to the kitchen cam and like hear him booming how loud he is. And then you can go up to the cameras of the other people trying to sleep. And this guy's, this guy's just booming voice is so fucking loud <laughs> across the whole house. It was it was hilarious. Very, very funny stuff, like not knowing what was coming next. Uh, you'd think that they would struggle much more with like the zoo effect of people not doing anything for enormous uh, periods of time. But they did a good job uh, keeping people engaged with activities and, and challenges and stuff. Uh, there was also like I enjoyed the, the very Sam Hyde aspect of like the points kind of being uh whose line is it anyway where it'd be sometimes like all right here's the competition and then it'd be like all right uh yeah letty you won but i don't i'm you're not getting the point i'm sorry like did those fish bucks ever materialize yes yeah he gave everybody the money for their fish bucks after telling them they would not be getting any money for their fish bucks uh (laughs) the will the willy wonka end to it was was hysterical is that, really end. very very funny stuff so check out the highlights of fish tank and uh look out for season two i thought it was very entertaining <clears throat> yeah you like i think sam hyde is, is like your favorite style of humor right now like you i, I bet if you could pick one guy while. to make yeah yeah well I, Ob, Ob and anthony was a kind mm-hmm. of good guy for a while for sure but, uh, yeah yeah i, I put myself in the position of the victims too much i i you know, it's funny. I watch cringy stuff, and I you told me that you empathize with the cringe. You can hardly, like, get it. And yeah, times. I'm totally comfortable with watching the cringiest, <laughs> cringiest stuff. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. But somehow the, like, borderline bully stuff, I'm always like, ah, how would I fucking handle that situation? I can't beat up Sam Hyde. And here's this person. Like, what am I going to do? This this isn't funny. This is mean. And and it's, <laughs> it's, it's funny. Like, um, <laughs> he's like a Simpsons character. I can hear like Reverend Lovejoy saying that. That's <laughs> not funny. It's mean. <laughs> it's mean. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm like the kind of rube that, you know, is part of what makes it work. <laughs> Yeah, see, so like one of the final challenges was who can make Airsoft Fatty move around in a circle in uh, whipped cream the, the longest? The longest or the most rotations in a the minute? The most rotations, I- and it didn't end up mattering because like all of it, like what the, the last four days, they locked them all in a room, and Sam was like, all right, the final points competition, the first one to 48. 
And so <laughs> it was the first one to 48 points. So they just came up with a bunch of horseshit games to keep them occupied. Because hmm. obviously in the end, it didn't matter. Like they already knew Josie was going to win and that Letty was going to get second place. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think if were... I were just some crazy person who who just was fans of all these, I'd be so into it. I'd want to like go, right? I'll um, stay on the watching side, I think. Uh, like, like uh, I think if I were if I were one of them, I would just just a random person. I would absolutely want to take part in some with something like this. Oh, yeah. Growing up, Maybe. I was really, and even now to some extent, um, I was really into game shows. And the idea, I, I always thought I could win the game show. Like watching, or, there was this one game show with that on Nickelodeon with kids called um, something Temple, like uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, Legends of the Hidden Temple. And I remember I would always be like, God, these kids suck. I'm so much better than any kid on fucking Legends of the Hidden Temple. I'd get mm-hmm. to the end, and man, it's been so long ago I was a kid, but I remember a pile of, they, the way I remember the prizes being, they basically gave you like an extra Christmas that year. They just piled mm-hmm. up a bunch of toys and cool shit, and uh, you know, sponsors, of course. Yeah. But so I would definitely be in the Sam Hyde thing. The idea, how does he choose people? It looks <laughs> like contestant. everybody had to submit a video oh, application that's awesome. for it. And then he mm-hmm. picked people that he thought would be unique and interesting. One of the the first guy, the this Asian guy, Simmons, they had in the beginning was they found out like he had written some book back when he was a camp counselor that was about how to hook up with campers. I remember that. <laughs> and uh and Sam apparently that was so over the line, like like the the clip is Sam just being like, All right, get the get the hell out. You're you're gone. <laughs> we, 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 you're not here. Like get, get out. And so, then, and so then he went out and found a different, funnier, more wholesome Asian guy that was about the same height and brought him in. <laughs> just <laughs> no just one noticed. Into a different Asian guy. All right, we're gonna give you all of that other guy's points, okay? And <laughs> and, and we're just not. Can I? What was the? Just call him the other guy's name. That would have been. Yeah. That should have been the bit. So he, a pedophile, made his way through the selection process. Allegedly, yeah. It took the it took the chat, I suppose, all the the audience on online to, to parse that out and, and get him out of the house. Very yeah. entertaining stuff. Like- 